but did your wife uh, have a surrogate partner therapist in her? No, and, and you know, we talked about it before I, before I began the process, and I think we both decided that if a surrogate partner was available, it would have helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, it would have helped deal with some of the shame that I couldn't, I couldn't help with because I was honestly not in a good place to help her in that way. Yeah. Um, it would have helped her recontextualize what sex is because at that point in time, our goal was penis and vagina intercourse. And that was not accessible to us for a very, very long time. And that brought a lot of feelings along with it. I think having a surrogate partner would have helped in ways that I couldn't as a partner who was too close to her help. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a, such a mature way of looking at it to accept that there are ways in which that you cannot help. Um, yeah. Whether that's due to emotional blockages or just knowledge, education that we don't have, our partners may not have, and to actually open up the door to allow for somebody else to come in and help. Right. Because what I, what I eventually learned was it's not about me. You know, as, as a man, I had certain expectations of what a relationship should look like. And when it wasn't going well, somehow that reflected on my performance as a partner, as a lover. And it's not, it's not about that. Um, I able to put myself on the, the back shelf and, and let her do what she needed to do uh, to become healthy would have been very, very helpful.